Welcome, everyone, Welcome. to part two of how to play Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. And now, um, you're probably, um, this is a very, very unique... Only audio. Audio this is only. Only audio, yeah. so you, if you're listening on YouTube or one of our your preferred uh, podcast uh, platforms, thank you so much for listening in. This is a very, yeah. very special two-parter episode, and you're, we're, yeah. we're about to jump into something very special. Very special. We have, here with us, we have Erica, we have... Andrew, and we have Lauren joining us as well. Everyone has been on the podcast here. The past, so for the past hour and a half or so, um, Andrew and Erica have walked us through creating all of our characters. It's yeah. been very, very exciting. Yeah, it's exciting and creating We didn't want to bore you with that, because yeah. we're going to about to get into the nitty gritty Myself, Stab, Lauren, Erica, yeah. and our our, uh, our dungeon master Andrew, and I think Andrew is our dungeon master. I'm very excited because uh, I, he's he's. I feel like he's perfect he's got for some, this role. He's got some stuff uh, planned for, for us. Role. Yeah, and you know what? I think without further ado, hey, all yeah, right. without further ado, without further ado, we got please, the Dungeons and um, uh, Doozy, baby. <laughs> Dungeons and Doozy. I slap Kirk. <laughs> <laughs> The sun rises over the amber rock mountains, kissing the dew on each blade of grass. The chilly evening air is heated as the light from the sun crosses the fields. This is the land of opportunity. We zoom in over the rolling hills to a small town of Nueva Yonk. The baker is opening the windows of their bakery, letting the smell of fresh pies waft into the town as the morning sun crests over the horizon. We see the town coming to life as farmers tend to their fields. They sweat in the morning sun, having already put in hours of work. We see children start to chase each other around town, laughing and playing as dawn breaks. Coming over the hill just outside the town, we find our heroes. They are weathered from the journey so far, wanting to find a place to rest and recuperate. To them, this collection of little hovels looks like heaven. Erica, would you please describe your character? So, trudging, dragging her feet over the hill, you see a tall, lanky wood elf with dyed black hair in all black clothes, named Melisent, but she hates that name, so she goes by Melly. She is tired, she is ragged, she is bored as hell, and every couple of steps she takes out her U wand and takes a nice big puff out of the end. And it seems to kind of jerk her a, b jerk her a bit and wake her up and go, okay, <laughs> let's, let's go, everybody, okay. Uh Kirk, would you describe your character, please? Standing just a few feet away is towering over Mel is six foot seven, 450 pounds, bald and green-skinned is Shirk. He's a oak ogre, and he is uh, commonly known as Shrek's long-lost twin brother. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Twin <laughs> brother, but he's Russian. Hey, listen, it'll be so strange. Strange, strange siblings. He didn't grow up in Scotland, so you know we'll see. Um, well traveled. And uh, he's <laughs> well traveled. He kind of just adapts. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so uh, yeah, he's a bit fucking potty mouth. He's very fucking uh, horny quite a lot of the time. Uh, he is uh, just absolutely massive. He's He towers over uh, all all of our heroes and um, god damn it, he's fucking tired. He's tired and he, he needs he needs uh, to sit down. Uh, Alex, would you please describe your character? Yeah. <laughs> Coming up Coming up over the fucking hill, dude, is uh, the wizard, the one and only Ernie Magic Figures Dynamo. He just finished his Dunkin' Donuts coffee. You know, 
he's, he's just, how tall he's, are he's you? Dead. I want you to, oh, tell, yeah. I want you to oh, admit yeah. how tall you are. Oh, God. So I'm, uh, this is why these sheets are here. That's right. I'm five foot eight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 122 pounds. <laughs> I'm bald. I'm 200 years old, but still young, baby. Still young. I know I'm really good at casting fucking spells, kid. Kid. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I met these guys on the on the adventure beforehand, and, uh, you know, we're going to party. We're in this new, in this new village. And uh, what makes Ernie Dynamo so interesting also is he has horns growing out of the top of his bald yeah. head. Huge horns. Huge horns. Why do why do you have horns? He's why from do you have fucking horns? Boston. What? what? Oh, so that's a byproduct of no, I'm a being de- from Because I'm a demon. I'm half demon as oh. well. I forgot to uh, And also admit because that, you're yeah. from Boston. <laughs> yeah. Anyone yeah. from Boston's got Has horns. horns. <laughs> and, and if you can't see them, yeah. they're hiding them. They're right. hiding them. Anyways. <laughs> Lauren, why don't you describe your character? Her name is Amara. She has very long red hair with bright green eyes, Ooh. fair skin. She is a criminal. She's a little chaotic and evil. Mm. She likes to be in nature. She likes to hang out in the woods and be a little shady. But mm-hmm. yeah, heck yeah, that's her. Amazing. So we find our adventurers crossing this you know hill and overlooking into this small. Uh, town, uh, what would you all, what would you like to do? Um, well, I, I see that Ernie Dynamo, he, he seems a bit, uh, um, I don't know, tired, so I, I offer him to, uh, uh, I offer him a piggyback ride down the mountain. Uh, absolutely, why don't we do the first roll of the game? Would you give me an athletics roll? Yeah, uh, what, what did you get there? Oh, God. Uh, and what <laughs> did do you, and, and what do you add to that? <laughs> Your athletics plus six, so six plus two is what? Six plus two is eight. <laughs> does, uh, he, does he succeed? It's, it's not so much that you fail. I mean, you're a big guy. You, you do get him up, but it kind of tweaks your back a little bit. It isn't comfortable. Yeah. Ernie feels great. <laughs> you don't feel see. great holding Ernie. I'm tired. I'm, I'm, I, I do it's a lot a long of journey. physical activity for everybody. A lot so, of heavy lifting. Okay, so I'm not going to give you a feedback, right? Fuck you. <laughs> Wow. Why didn't you just walk? He, I, well, I, offered, <laughs> it. I offered, offered it. I offered it. Oh, he what? offered the piggyback yeah, ride. Yeah, he offered, yeah, let's just attack Ernie. <laughs> he offered the piggyback ride. Yeah. Okay. I think we should find an inn of some kind, some place to mm-hmm. sleep, oh. some place to eat. Absolutely. What um, is it? How far are we up the mountain, right? Uh, now? You're How? only about a hundred feet out. These of are like town. old taverns. This isn't like some new, new. No, uh, you holiday know, you holiday uh, here, if right. everyone, if everyone actually wants to give me a perception check, I'll let you know what uh, what you're able to see. So everyone get, everyone get your d20s, okay. your big ones. Yeah. Right. And then roll in there for a perception. So roll your numbers. Okay. I got eight. And then you look on your list. Oh, so you look, look on your list, you'll see perception. Yeah. And then so whatever number you rolled, add that number to what you just rolled. So I got a 10 and it says plus five, so 15. 15. I got a four. Plus. Fantastic. So what does this mean? No, no, he did the plus. Got uh, it. I got uh, eight. Eight. Uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, 21. My oh. fucking God. <laughs> Ernie and Shirk, you're, you're just very tired. You're also having <laughs> this. You're. <laughs> You're having this moment he where he's trying to pick me up. Yeah, it's honestly, it's, it's, it's honestly kind of unhinged. You guys are in the back. Not honestly, really. it's been weird the whole trip. He just keeps picking them up. Yeah, you're not really paying. Like, I'm back. good, dude. I'm well, he's good, so dude. small. It's like I'm having good. a pet. I don't need a pickup. I usually, don't, I don't need a pick, usually, I think it's just muscle memory because, like, when we're fighting, sometimes I'll pick you up and just throw you. Yeah, and toss <laughs> me. Toss me. <laughs> toss me. <laughs> anyway, we'll start with you, uh, Amar. Um, what are you specifically looking for? Are you looking for the tavern like everyone else, or are you looking for something different? Well, what are we going to be doing at the tavern? Drinking? All right, I'll go to the tavern. Absolutely, great. I think you we can, need a drink. I think we need a drink. Can, drink. You can very clearly see uh, there is uh, that sure the center of the town. There is a building that uh, has um, there's a symbol of, it looks like a tankard. 
uh, swinging on a sign, uh, Ooh, and uh, there, is, there is there is no it. door. It's just it is just it just exists. It's just a doorway. Um, and what are you looking for specifically with that twenty one? I'm looking for a bed. I'm looking for a place to sleep. Fantastic. Well, what you see, uh, Melly, on a smaller sign under that, it says, we also have beds. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a nice, straight to the point tavern. <laughs> you can drink, but we also have beds. It's great. It's like a kind of a one-stop shop. So uh, yeah. I'm assuming you all want to go to the tavern. Yeah. And in. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, fantastic. Using those uh, same perception rolls, uh, sadly, gentlemen. Uh, you go into uh, the, the tavern, and you see a, a few of the locals. Uh, it is morning. I just want to remind everyone. Good morning. Uh, Wait, what time is it? Uh, it's, 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 the morning is cresting. It's about 7 or 8. Oh, it's about Here the dog. It's wow. Wow. Gosh, we're drinking early. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's <laughs> been a been a long adventure. It was actually funny. Uh, kind of out of character, uh, Erica was like, I think you're talking about the, the, the sun too much in the beginning. I don't think... I don't think that's needed. Um, apparently it was. Apparently it was. Uh, it is the morning. Um, 7 a.m. Yeah, why is she looking for a bed at 7 a.m.? Uh, she's tired. tired. Well, You're probably, tired. Uh, I'm tired. Maybe she was up all night. We've probably been walking all night. I'm tired uh, too, but I'm still going to have I'm a pint. Tired. I wish <laughs> someone could carry me. Uh, for the record, I actually don't need sleep because I am an elf. We just trance. I just want to be on okay. something soft. Mm. That's all. Well, you, I'm me belly. <laughs> you can just lay in <laughs> my belly. <laughs> No, me no. Yeah. I think I roll my eyes the largest I possibly can. At my, my, uh, my, uh, at my, my saying belly. you can lay on my belly. <laughs> He's trying to give me a piggyback. He yeah. wants you to sleep on his belly. Yeah, she, yeah, okay. Where did we find this So guy? we, uh, so what, what's happening? We walk in. You walk in to, uh, you walk in, um, as, uh, who is leading you into this tap? Me. Can you both give me a raw dex roll? So D20, give me that D20 roll. And add just your dexterity to that. So two plus three, five. One. Fail. Great. <laughs> <laughs> he walks, he trips and falls. Um, you had a two and he had a one. So it's not great. We're not, we're not, we're not leading this. Party. Nobody. <laughs> Neither of you is nailing this, but you both kind of shove. Uh, because you both rolled so low, can I actually ask both of you to roll me again a dexterity saving throw? So what is that? Nine. nine. So you got a 14. Okay. okay. Perfect. Eight. So you got an eight. So uh, as you're kind of tripping and falling over each other, uh, Amara, you notice ju uh, just in time to dodge out of the way of a bunch of fucking asshole kids that just come running out of this fucking tavern. Uh, they're going to actually just trip you. So you just fall to the ground. You don't Ooh. take any damage. You just get knocked over by a bunch of fucking asshole children as Why they run up. <laughs> Why are kids in a tavern at 7 a.m.? I use I them. use magic missile on the kids. <laughs> <laughs> so you wanna you wanna cast magic missile? <laughs> you oh my god! I'm tired. I need a beer. I just got tripped. So uh, I want to make it clear. Uh, I will say with your passive insight, because your insight's pretty fucking good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> this was not intentional. But they did trip you. It was there not paying attention. They're just, <laughs> Are you still gonna follow through with it? You know what? I changed my mind. Great. <laughs> so, so listen, listen. I see Ernie Dynamo get a little bit flat. Uh, a little bit. He's a little bit uh, perturbed. I say, eh, Ernie. I know how you can get. So I say, just let him go. I uh, right before they leave, though, I give him a little look. Like, I better not see you. I announce to the tavern. I say, hey, sorry to interrupt, but um, who, uh, usually there's a concierge here. Um, uh, could somebody tell me how I can get a pint and uh, a bed for me, me mates? You know? There is, uh, you look in the tavern and there is uh, no one because it is seven in the morning. Um, and there is... <laughs> I'm losing. I'm losing it, Ernie. I'm losing it. Okay. There is someone. There's no patrons, but there. Well, that's why I announced it. Yeah, there's one woman at the bar cleaning, and she goes, I, I, sorry. "I'm sorry. What? Uh, can I help you? What? A con? A what? You say a con? A what? A con? What are you asking for? 
I just need some guidance for where I can we can all rest our heads. So who do, do we have to pay I, someone? I use <laughs> don't. <laughs> I use magic wisdom. I use prestidigitation to form this giant <laughs> coin purse. Okay, and I'm like, put us in the presidential suite. We want massages. Yes. We want, you know. We want booze. We want it all right now. We'll pay for it here. Uh, f- uh, fantastic. Uh, you create this 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 magical bag. Right. Uh, go ahead and give me a deception roll, which is going to be a d20. Go ahead okay, and give me a d20. Okay. And then add your deception to it. 15. So what, plus, uh, what do you add plus, to the plus? Deception plus, in, in the, long, the long list there should be deception. Plus, plus five. So you rolled an unnatural oh, 20. 20. Yes. Uh, uh, this, you know, this, this uh, innkeeper goes, uh, We got cash, baby. Uh, a- absolutely, of course. Yeah, you can. Uh, uh, you can leave that bag right on the counter, um, and I will take you to our, our to our best room. We don't have a presidential suite, but we do have a, a very large suite. Um, uh, there are. I we don't do massage. I, I guess we could. I could. We could. We could do something. Um, absolutely. Uh, great. So good. Um, and she kind of leads you all up to this room where you find these uh, amazing beds with their downy mattresses um oh, i'm sorry do you want do you want one room for all of you or do you want separate rooms um it, could it perhaps be like a place where we have a common area and then like rooms that like uh a foyer, branch a off, foyer. A, you know yeah, a foyer yeah. and then uh you know or th- is that possible yeah, oh yeah you know it is it is it, it we'll figure it out um and you see that uh there are doors that are supposed to be locked, and she just opens them and just connects all the rooms. Mm. Oh, oh, you can right. just, you can just, you can leave all these things if you would like. Yes, thanks so much. Um, if you don't mind, Alex, how long does press digitation last? Do you know? I think it's like thirty seconds. <laughs> oh my god, she's gonna come! She's gonna walk downstairs and see the it's missing. And we're gonna blame it on the kids. <laughs> Gonna we blame it. it on the kids that the kids stole it because ki- she yes. saw the money. She the saw money the kids was were real. There and the money was real, but the kids stole it. Uh, the kids woke back, and they're not dead. Yeah. <laughs> no, they're <laughs> they're dead. not dead, which is the important thing. It's one hour. Me. Fantastic. One, one hour. hour. <laughs> Sleep up. <laughs> Sleep <laughs> up. <laughs> um, so, uh, so you all have access to these rooms. She's given you Great. these these rooms. Um. It's not so much there's a foyer, there's not like a common area for you would all be in, but you all have your own rooms that are connected, um, basically, uh, men and women. So you've got Shirk and Dynamo on one side. I'm just going to call you by your last name because it's fucking good. Dynamo. Uh, yeah, Shirk yeah. and Dynamo on one side, and you've got Amara and Melly on the other side. But your rooms are connected, and you are the end of a hallway, so you kind of you can meet in the middle if you would like. Um, and uh, the innkeeper just uh, walks away. Uh Seems excited, just kind of walks away. Um, absolutely, I'm just gonna roll something really quick. Is it a connected room, or are we like? I'm oh, sorry. Uh-oh, um, what, uh, are we? Uh, what'd you roll the over there? Don't worry about uh, it. Uh oh. Um, would you? Con- would, if we're resting, would you consider this a long rest? Do you think? With the well, we have to think about that spell that only lasts for an hour, you know. And so I would say um, long rest would be like eight hours. So you could get a short rest in. Um, mm-hmm. I think uh, just purely. Uh, but that's a that's a spell I can continuously cast, so I can just keep adding that giant uh, bag of money there, right? Yes, yeah, so you'd have to keep doing uh, deception checks and keep. Make sure you can see it because you can't just magically keep it going. Okay, so yeah, it's, yeah. it's a pretty basic spell. It's yeah, meant yeah, for yeah, yeah. that stuff. Um, and uh, just uh, numbers wise, you're all actually, you are at full health and full oh, spells. Okay. Yeah. You are tired just from the journey, not from being mm. attacked. Yeah. Um, so you don't necessarily need a rest mm. in terms of actual mechanics, okay. but you could, you know, you have this place to kind of vibe. Mm. Okay, so then we're not tired and we go to like, the local weapon guy to give us all upgraded stuff. I thought you didn't have any weapons. You have your magical fingers, right? I I cast cast chill chill touch. touch. (laughs) 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 Are you sure? What is that? What does that mean? It's the hand of death. Uh, Why? (laughs) You're going to kill me because I made fun of you? I need this passive aggressive comments. Uh, Er I thought you weren't tired. Please, magic missile. <laughs> no. Are you, you, you did this. Are you going to do magic missile or are you going to do chill touch on your party member? I did. 
You're gonna kill me right now? Is there... <laughs> no, you know what? Alright, I'll let you live. For now. Uh, While but, they're but bickering... Does she, but does she I learn her lesson? <laughs> <laughs> does she learn her lesson? Make an insight. I... <laughs> insight, insight. Uh, I've got true strike. <laughs> I am a criminal. Yeah, yeah. True strike. I'm yeah, we know. That's why you're part of the group. Uh, sure. You were saying something over there. Well, yeah, I was just saying, like, I, I, I scream out, "Could you <laughs> fucking keep it down? I'm fucking tired over here. I will rip the mighty's fucking fart and l have you all leave this room if you don't shut up. Either go to sleep or go out in the town. Just fucking." Do it, all right? Because I, I, I need to close my eyes for just like a bit. As you finish talking, you hear from the other room. Wait, what the, what the fuck? <laughs> this isn't even real. We gotta oh, go. We gotta shit. go. Oh, we shit. gotta go. Uh, so, um, well, you hear that? What would you all like to do? Holy um, shit! Open up a window. Jump out. Wait, what is happening? Do you think they found out that the money was fake? I think I mean, so. You, I mean, yeah. you don't know well, for sure, but that's true. Really something's real. going on. Something's going on, yeah. I say we get the fuck out of here. Yeah. On, yeah, honestly, Melly's gonna, I'm gonna open up the window and attend to, what are, what sure are we on? Second? No, this is, they're all hovels. It's all like base level. You're not Great. in Great, open up the window. Base we're, out. Out. we're out. We're out. Right. We're running. We run. All right, so, yeah. do we, Can you? so listen, listen. We roll I'm out. fucking massive. So the, I, I open the window for them, really? and I get them all out because they're fucking small, but I have to creep through the actual tavern. I have to go past. I do because I'm fucking massive. I'm fucking six foot seven, and I'm creeping. Does he successfully? I'm creep creeping, through? and I try to creep past the door that I heard, and I try to creep and leave the tavern and meet them outside. Uh, go and give me a stealth roll. You disadvantage. I believe on you have. Oh, oh, that's right. Fuck! I fucked myself. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, because. Uh, We'll have we'll have actually the first thing solved. Can uh, can all of you uh, roll me uh, with advantage because uh, Shirk is helping you? Yeah. Uh, I'm assuming you're all going out the window. Yes, yes. I'm out. Really, really Honestly, I would leave him behind. Great, great, great. Your heartbeat. <laughs> 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 yeah. Great. So everyone, uh, go and give Which me. Which one? Um, this one. Big D twenty. This is going to be uh, acrobatics oh, no, or athletics, oh, no, whichever is better for you. Um, uh, we're getting out the window. Oh, no, you rolled that. Was, that was an accident. No, that was, that was an accident. No. That was an accident. <laughs> Let the record like show that, that Alex. That was an accident. Oh, 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 hold for one second. All right, roll it. 13. Cool. We can roll again. You can roll plus, again. Plus you your, get to roll again. Plus my what? Plus your ac acrobatics or athletics. Plus one. I have eight. Cool. You can roll again as well. You all have advantage on this. So you can go ahead and roll a second time. A nine. Nine Three. plus five. Three. Fourteen. So you got fourteen. Oh. You're totally fine. Uh, and your first roll broke ten, correct? I was thirteen. You're oh, I was fourteen. You're out of really the window. Is. Sixteen. Sixteen, you're out of the window. We're going to pause on you for just a second. Ashok, you are, uh, you realize you're not going to fit through this window. No. Um, so if you're trying to sneak out, go ahead and give me a stealth roll. Roll two dice and take the worse of the two. That's disadvantage. You have the yes. twenties. Take the worst of the two. Oh I go God. for a long. I, I see a local wench and I go for a long walk with her. Six plus three. Six, seven, eight, nine. You got a nine. Oh. You broken it. Got a counter roll for you. Quick roll. For I'm you. trying to get outside to you. Because you, <laughs> you are trying to hide. I'm trying to. Well, I'm trying to get out. She didn't roll amazing. But the innkeeper does see you trying to sneak out. She's like, hey, just fuck her. Uh, hey, man, that was kind of a really shitty thing to do. Do, do you just have, like, I don't give it. Do you have any money? Like, what? Are, are you good? Like, can you pay for any of this? Do we have money? You do all have some money. You all have your starting money, which I believe ranges from about 10 to 15 gold. I'll, I'll get Big Rick, dude. Ooh, he sounds scary. Listen, Listen there's, there's no need to get big Rick. Okay. He sounds probably not as uh, uh, big as me. How about 
you know, my friend is actually upstairs right now. I was just going to go outside. Um, I have. Uh, I was going to take a look around the town, but my friend is upstairs, and he can he can pay you. He's the small, uh, squarely one. He's very skinny. He's yeah, yeah. So, so he'll he'll pay. Uh, you. Go ahead and give me. Um, actually, no. She stops and she goes. There's only one floor. What floor is your is your friend on? Apologies, I just come from the mountain. I'm, I'm, you know, my, I, I'm, my levels and, you know, my heights are, yeah, yeah, you know, I always kind of live life as if, like, I'm always on the second, third, or fourth floor than everybody. And so, like, we just came from the mountain, all right? And, uh, just kind of like, everybody's ground level is kind of different to me. So, <coughs> hey, uh, Rick! Oh, uh, oh. and you hear yell for, uh, Rick. Uh, uh, all, uh -oh. all of you, uh, hear this yell um all of you can give me perception checks as you are out there. Holy mm -hmm. shit. so my perception is plus five yeah. mm. it's eight plus five 13 12 Great. for me 13 12 you hear this noise of it's kind of muffled for you uh because you didn't roll extraordinarily high but you hear something had yelled and you notice there's a lot of movement from the like a like a like a farm it seems like there's a bunch of people moving towards the tavern um, from the farm? From the farm towards uh, the tavern slash inn. What would you all like to do? Either together or separate. I'm turning around to go back. You're going back into the... I'm going to go back to help. <clears throat> okay. Uh, sure. I might peace out. Thank you. Oh, you fucking <laughs> bitch. She's so chaotic. I go, ba I go back to the tavern, Joe. Okay. All right. Uh, are you really going to... I'm peace out. See ya. Good luck. Great. Uh, are you leaving or are you just going to kind of hide to see what happens? I'm gonna hide and see what happens. Cool. Go ahead and give me. <laughs> go ahead and give me a stealth roll. Ooh. Um, you have what plus five? Oh, um, plus five for stealth. Yeah. It's actually oh, gonna be. Uh, go ahead and roll. Your, uh, you can actually take two. You're gonna roll with advantage because no one. Is looking. No one's looking for you roll yet. Two d twenty. Maybe have the d twenty and roll them both. Can I choose the higher number? Plus five. Yes. Um. One in seventeen. Seventeen plus, plus five. Twenty two. Twenty two. You f fucking shade away. You're just like, nope. And you just fucking <laughs> like, go. I just like, like, <laughs> go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's like it was, it's like that um the, the, like, with the Homer the Simpson. Homer just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you do that. You just Homer Simpson the fuck out of here. You're yeah. like so, um, <laughs> the kid on the street where he's like and just disappear. Yeah. What I what I will Amara say is out of uh, here. what I will say, Lauren, is um Whatever happens, you can either stay close enough to engage or not be involved at all. But the point is, no one's seeing you. You rolled great. You're out. You're out. Um, Bye. Basically, what's going to happen is they're going to you're going to meet at the door essentially. Uh, so uh, as you get a little bit to the front, and as you guys start crossing the front, um, both uh, Melly and and Dynamo, you get you get <laughs> you get to uh, the the front door. And you see approaching uh, is a, a, just a just a massive, massive farmer-looking guy, um, and you see four dudes with him, mm. and they're all kind of they have makeshift we weapons that are mainly used for like you know farming. They got pickaxes, they've got they've got uh, shears and things like that, and they're I'm walking. I'm so happy I'm in Cognito right now. They're walking towards uh, the door. What would you like to do? Um, I use my charisma. Sweet talk them and be like, hey, everything's okay. Why don't we go back in and, and we'll have a drink? It's on me. At seven in the morning. <laughs> I, mean, I pressed the digitation. I get to buy them drinks. So you just turn the corner and go, hey, wait a minute. We're gonna, this is, this is, it's a misunderstanding. I'm going to buy you drinks. Yeah. Because you mentioned the drinks, right. I am not going to make you roll with just disadvantage because they don't know who you are and you're just yelling. So I want you to roll straight. Mm -hmm. Give me either, uh, are you honestly going to get them drinks? Or Ooh. are you lying? I am deceptive. That's a, so you're so you're lying about that. You're just you're just you're lying as a way to just get them to, to do what you want, right? Uh, correct. Cool. Give me a deception roll then. Um, Three. <laughs> oh, cool. my uh, God, this is a disaster. Uh, so, 
You say this wait, and, wait, 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 but, and my, but my deception is plus five. Yeah, so you got an eight total. That's so okay. negative. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. So um, this huge dude was actually he was walking towards the door. He stops, and you he he turns his neck, and you know how you can hear like in cartoons like every mm-hmm. fucking crack. Mm-hmm. Uh, you hear that turn towards you. And he just points, and uh, three of the farmers are going to start moving towards you, and he's going to turn his head and start going into the tavern. Oh, um, shite. I think I need everyone here to roll initiative. God damn You it. can roll initiative, but you're hiding, so I will check in so you want to do anything, but you can Wait, have well, it. Um, I'm inside. Do we need the roll? Oh, oh yes. yes. Because he's about to... Come, well, come he's inside. coming towards you. There's coming towards you. His friends you. are um, going towards him. Uh... Let me just I need to look up one thing, but go ahead and roll me initiatives. Uh, don't tell me what you roll, just remember it for a second. Do I uh, roll? You do. You definitely yes. you do. Um, cool. Uh, there's another thing there. Okay, great, great. Um, don't, plus, don't, don't say, don't say it. it. And it's plus your initiative, which is this number. Yeah, right so everyone here. hold for one second just because uh, yeah. I was not expecting to get into combat this quickly, but I should have known <laughs> should have. what was going to happen. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> And that, honestly, Andrew, that one's on you. You should have known. It absolutely you is on me. Um, Hello. Great. Hey, guys, can we all just get along? <laughs> great, great. Kill um, <laughs> Great. So uh, what did... Uh, we'll start with you, uh, Erica. What did you roll? 17. What did you roll, sure? I'm not private about it. I rolled a 7. You rolled a 7? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, Shirk rolled a... Oh, s- Shirk rolled a 7. What did you roll? Uh, 14. Dynamo. 14. Dynamo. Oh! Dynamo with hey, a 14. Hey, dude. Like, hey, oh, guys. Okay. Uh, okay. And what did you roll? Seven. Oh, Seven. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Well, you're fucking hiding like a fucking uh, hell. <laughs> you're so, just going to uh, fucking walk. <laughs> <laughs> you're just gonna, you're just gonna, gonna like, watch us get our ass kicked. Yeah. <laughs> um, great. Uh, you know, if, if she chooses. Shoot her arrow, she gets advantage because she's hiding. Because she's hidden. So, well, that's why I'm hiding up in a tree. Right. So, that was your plan. Oh, <laughs> so, so uh, what I <laughs> for the record, I, Kirk just wheeled halfway across the room. What? Uh, what? Uh, what, what, I, yeah. what I will say is, so here's the lay of the land. Uh, it looks like three of these farmer dudes are walking towards uh, Ernie and Mel, and uh, it looks like Rick. And one of, uh, basically, is like his little sidekick guy are going towards inside. You would only would see this, but uh, you didn't even get her name. Her name's Lisa. Lisa just jumps behind the bar. She's hiding. She's just, uh, she's, she's just All getting right. away. That's the bar owner? That's the bar woman okay, who, yeah. who you, uh, yes. Swindle. Um, who, yeah, who As you... she, uh, just, just so we know, just so we have it uh, on record, once I see her... Uh, Jump over into to hide. I say, you're tearing me apart, Lisa. <laughs> That's fucking canon. So I just fucking say as that. she jumps, as I uh, wait for the door to open. Yeah, 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 she murders you. She's actually level twenty character. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. So I say that, and then what happens next? So now we're actually fully in initiative. So uh, Back. That, uh, 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 Melly, what, what would you like to do? I mean, I got great right charisma, now, though. right now it it doesn't it it definitely seems bad, mm-hmm. but I, it, there's they're walking towards you menacingly. Yeah. It. You don't know what's about to happen. Like you have a full grass situation. What would you like to do? Yes. Um, so, how far away am I from Shirk? Uh, so from Shirk, you're probably roughly about uh, maybe maybe forty or fifty feet. Oh, wow. But you have to go through a door as well. Right. Um, so basically, like he is inside the building. You and Ernie are outside, and uh, uh, Amara has vantage on the outside people from a tree, but uh, is a little bit further away. I'm picturing this. This is great. Give me one second. Picture this. Theater of the Mind. I want to make sure I got something. Is, can I make a perception check to see if any of the three guys that are walking towards us, one of them seems to be like the leader of the three? I'm going to say oh, Big Rick, right? Uh, give me a... Of the, th- yeah, of the three, right, three walking the three towards three you? Uh, give me an insight check. Insight? All right. Uh, four, 14. Uh, cool. I will... With that, you're high enough to know... None of them are going to be in charge. They're all kind of just following Rick's order. 
However, Rick is a man of few words, so he didn't really say anything. He just pointed and great. Um, I'm going and it's to, moving towards. I'm going to. So they're like in a line or like in a V formation. Oh, great question. They're in a V formation. Great. So the point of the V, I'm going to cast Charm Person on him. Mm. Okay. Mm. Uh, what does Charm Person do? Charm Person is I attempt to charm a humanoid I can see within range, which is 30 feet. Mm-hmm. Uh, you you must make a Wisdom saving throw. Um, and does I. Uh, hold on. It must make, I must make a wisdom saving throw and does so with advantage if you or your companions are fighting it. But we don't know the situation, so I'm not entirely sure if you can color that as fighting, but that's fine. If you fail, uh, you are charmed by me until the spell ends, or until one of your companions does something harmful to it. Okay. So uh, you just wanted to kind of uh, roll... Uh, yeah, I would like, uh, you need to roll a DC 14 wisdom saving throw. Great. DC 14. Jesus. Okay, mm-hmm. we're level... Okay. I'm great. Uh, yeah, he fails. Um, yes, he fails. So, uh, yeah, this person is charmed by you, so one of them is charmed. Great. Um, so I, so as soon as I see him, kind of like, as soon as I see it work, I go, Hi, oh my gosh, the total misunderstanding. You and your friends are totally cool. Like, just, would you mind just, like, asking your friends just to, like, chill? Like, we're, we're cool. Everything's cool here. Great. Uh, we're gonna pause now, but that's great. You say that to this guard, uh, Ernie. Your next act. I look Rick right in the fucking face, dude, <laughs> and I cast Tasha's hideous laughter on him. <laughs> Holy shit! Holy what does shit! That do? All right, yeah. What does Tasha's hideous laughter do? Tell me. Let's go. I got it. 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 Hold on, Tasha. Like fucking. Uh, saving yes. me, dude. You're okay. saving me, dynamite. <clears throat> so. Tree, you're in the jam. And you're like, what's going on? Out here? Tasha's hideous laughter. A creature of your choice that you can see within range, which is 30 feet, perceives everything as hilariously funny and falls into a fit of laughter if the spell affects it. The target must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or fall prone and become in- incapacitated and unable to stand up for the duration. If the if the intelligence score of the creature is a four or less, it isn't affected. He, he, he's good. He's going to be affected by this. Uh, but he has to make this save. So, a wisdom saving throw. Wisdom correct? saving throw. What is your spell save DC? At the top. Uh, there. My spell save DC is 13. Can, oh, wow. What the fuck? You guys are. High level spellcasters, my guy. Uh, he rolls a nat 15 plus 1. So, you cast this spell. You all, uh, as you speak. Um, oh, I didn't get one of those. Um, I, did I get did I spell? Cast, uh, did I, do I cast it? <laughs> Completely? So or I get pumped over again. So uh, I just want to make sure that something happens. Um, what What do you try and like magically? What magic joke do you try to get to say to him so he doesn't, you know, so he starts laughing hysterically? You, you, you try to do a joke. What's the joke? What's the joke? To get big red. Hey. Uh. Doesn't matter. Everything he thinks is funny, right? You say the exact words. Hey, it doesn't fucking matter. Anything I say is funny, right? And you, nothing happens, and he just keeps walking straight. Because <laughs> uh, so he did. Work. He made his. He, he made, made his save. save. Um, he made the save. So that was one. why did the chicken cross the road? You're saying this to three other guys for sure. What's up? <laughs> okay. All right. It's, it's over. I'm done. <laughs> You're okay. done. Okay, 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 you okay, tried okay. your best. You could move if you wanted. Yeah, you could try and move away. Move towards them. What would you like to do? Join me in the tree. <laughs> <laughs> You're losing your touch, Dynamo. Run to the tree. So. No. <laughs> Dynamo never runs. Okay. So you say this show. I like, run over to her, and then you just yeah, you plant you plant your whole ten toes into the ground next to. I run over to Mel- her, and uh, yeah, great, we love that. Right. Uh, so you and Melly are right next to each other as these, uh, as it is the guards' <sighs> turn. So uh, the good news about your charmed person is it. I, I I had to make sure it's only if something harmful happens to it. So it's not his companion. So yeah. uh, it's fine. It sees this spell gets cast. He goes. I don't know. That guy still seems pretty okay. Hey, listen. Rick, Bobby, Steven, other Steven. Mm. Steven. Maybe we should give these guys, maybe we should give these guys, you know, a chance. And he's going to try and do a persuasion as his entire action to persuade his, um, his uh, friends to relax. Um... (laughs) 
<laughs> this is normally why you would have a DM screen, uh, but yeah, he wrote a nat one. Everyone saw that. Um, so uh, basically, uh, the, the his friends are gonna be like, "What the what the fuck is your deal?" And they're just gonna keep walking towards you. Now that you're gonna get up, um, and each of the other two is gonna take an attack on each one of you. We've done everything possible. Nothing can stop at these level one goons, huh? <laughs> <laughs> level one <laughs> goons. I casted every. Are, are you guys now inside the tavern? No, they're still, they're still outside. Out. Oh, um, so I'm still up in that tree. You don't even know what's happening. Yes. Uh, well, she can see everything with you two, so uh, mm. she's awesome stuff. Uh, the first one to take an attack. Uh, oh god, a nat 17. That is going to hit. Um, it's going to hit you. Ah. Uh, can I shoot a bat bow and arrow? You're close. You're next in the initiative, so not yet, but you can. Okay. Uh, uh, don't worry, it takes one damage. Cool. Uh, another one takes a swing at you. Oh. Uh, that is an eight. It just fucking misses. Nice. Just so, I just, so I get bitch slapped and he's fine? You do. Uh, you do. Uh, uh, and then the one I'm coming towards, my, my the one coming towards you <laughs> inside is also going to take a swing with their uh, makeshift weapon. Um, Me? That's you. you. Uh, that's only a 12 to that's hit. Yeah, the one that's with Rick oh. comes up and takes a swing. He rolls a 12, does not hit. Um, oh, the one that I charmed. Uh, no, no. There are three outside. I thought you said, oh, another and there's one with Rick oh, going okay. in to Shirk. Okay. Uh, but he missed. He's also fine. Amara, that is your turn. What you see is you see one confused dude who's standing about <laughs> 10 feet back who's like, I don't know, dog. This seems weird. And two of the other farmers have taken like a slash that it hurt. Seems like it hit uh, Melly, and the other one just kind of whiffed on a uh, on uh, Ernie. So what would you like to do? I'm going after the guy that hurt Melly. Uh, that hurt Mel Absolutely, go ahead and roll me an attack roll. This uh, one. And you can go. Yeah, and you can actually do it with advantage because you are hit. So go ahead and grab a second. Ooh. Ooh. So I get to roll two of them. Mm -hmm. Uh, 10 is, and so 15. Uh, you absolutely hit. Go ahead and roll your damage. Which is a D8. So whatever, yeah. So go ahead and where are your dice in there? Right here. Go. Cool. There it is. And uh, there's something else that we actually haven't talked about, which, we'll, which you're going to do to this roll. Go ahead and tell me what you get. Nice! nice. So you get a six. What does but that But you mean? also get plus your dex. So I think your dex is plus three, somewhere on this. Uh, plus three. So you do nine damage. Um, this guy. I am a huge fan of cleave rule, which means um, if you if you kill one enemy full outright, the damage goes into the next one. Mm. Uh, Amara, you shoot an arrow through the head of both of the dudes that tried to hit your friends, and two of the guards are just down. Let's go! Two of the guards are just down. Let me for being in the street. I just saved you. Uh, it's true. She did. Uh, I'm going to make the other dude uh, roll just... Yeah, he gets out. The one guy who was charmed is no longer charmed as he watches his friends get murdered, because uh, two deaths are going to break that charm mm. spell. Uh, do you want to move a little bit closer? Or are you cool staying in the tree and just vibing for now? Gonna vibe. You're gonna vibe. You're gonna vibe for where now. She is now. They do. They know exactly where she is now in the tree. But they're dead. Um, they're dead. <laughs> the one other is, is alive. Uh, Shirk, that is your turn. So uh, uh, what you see is there's about ten feet back is Rick in the doorway. He is almost as big as you, not quite, but he's a big fucking guy. Right. And then there's a smaller dude right in front of you. Uh, what would you like to do? So I pull out my war hammer and my my um my shield, and just as a cautionary uh, measure, I say, "Listen, listen. I don't even think you know who my brother is. I could make you both very, very rich." Uh, are you trying to persuade them or scare them? <laughs> I say that, but then I take a swing at the the, the guy's guy's head. The guy that's right in front of me. The guy that's right in front of me. Go absolutely. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and roll me an so attack roll. Roll this guy, and then that number plus five. Fucking <laughs> hell! <laughs> <Yeah>. A one. <laughs> you trying to deceive yourself, you're just like, you're like, hey guys, everything's gonna be back! And then you just fucking, you fucking swing so wildly, and you just miss. Um, nothing happens, I don't like the dropping you know, weapon bullshit. Uh, but yeah. you do swing, and you're like, oh shit. So any oh, sort of shit. talking about is not really gonna work out. Yeah. It is now Rick's turn. Um, he's he he only he only he only talks he only talks in grunts. Going to walk up and he just goes like, and he is going to uh, take some swings with his. Uh, he has one of those. Um, 
it looks like what you use to like cut um, like wheat down, Cinefactors. like a, like a Cinefactors. sickle, Cinefactors. like a sickle. But but for some reason, it's like bigger than it should be. Oh, wow. um, Oh, no. So uh, he has a shield. He's gonna he's gonna roll that. Uh, what's and you're uh, we'll see. Um, His AC is twelve. Uh, sorry, eighteen. Uh, eighteen. That first one is going to miss. So he takes one swing and you block with your shield. And the next one is going to hit. Oh, um, hit ya! Uh, hey. He hits ya, and he is going to do seven points of damage right to you immediately. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, right for the jump. The tree's uh, looking pretty good now, everybody. So you get fucking hurt by this Fuck it by this guy. Uh, she killed two um, people at once in the tree, and we're out there like, hey, you want to hear a joke? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, yeah, Rick is no joke. He's um, no joke, yeah. Uh, so we're back to the top of the initiative. This um, is in a tavern. Rick this is in a tavern. <laughs> so, Melly, you've been inside. You hear... Uh, you hear Shark pretty, like, he sounds like he's getting... Yes. Oh, fuck! Yeah, you hear that. You Great. hear that from the tavern. Great, so how far till I get into... I'm into, so into, tired! How far till I get into at least the doorway? The doorway? Uh, the doorway's only about... Uh, the doorway's probably probably 30 feet. Was that in front of you? So, like, you get in the doorway uh, in 30 feet, and you do, then you can get a line of sight on everyone. Mm-hmm. Let me think of something one second. Sorry, you, you, I don't mean to scare you all, but yeah, you fucking walked into town and tried to lie immediately. Okay. You didn't have to do um, any of these things. <laughs> You're so mad at this guy. Okay, well, you know what I'm going to do? You fucking title fucked, fucked it all up. All right, I'm going to be real nice. I am going to run in, I'm going to move my 30 feet into the door. Oh, thank you. I am going to cast Healing Word on... Shark. Amazing. Oh, thank which you. is my second spell slot, so that's two spells. My two slots are all done. Great. Thank God you. dang it. I'll make um, it with your and wild. And that'll be, so that's a D4 plus my spell caster. You get eight hit points back. So six plus eight is now your new hit point. So. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight. Yeah, so that's one more than your health was before. So you're, no, you're, no, you're, no. You're back at full you're health. You're back at full health. So you okay, see Melly kind of, you see Melly slide back into the door and just be like, "What? What is the healing word?" I just, I just walk in and I see this. And I look at and I go, "God damn it!" I just and cast and cast. So healing, cast healing word, you're back up to full yeah, health. Like, um, uh, and you would like anything else? You still have an action that was only a bonus action. The healing word was a bonus action. Healing, yes, it is. Healing Four, word is yeah. yeah. Then how close am I to Rick? Now, if I'm in the doorway. Uh, so you're still about 10 feet away from Rick. Um, mm. uh, but I will allow you to retcon if you want to kind of hit the dude outside while you go past. I would love to hit him with my centaur as I go past Cool. Him. So just try and roll, uh, roll a d20 and see if you hit. Okay. 12. 12 hits. Go ahead and roll right. your damage. Yeah. All go ahead right. roll your damage. Seven, 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 seven slide, damage. Seven damage? Yeah, yeah. Damage. Uh, dude, as you're going, you just fucking... You, what do you use? A scimitar? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The guy's like... Hey, wait a minute! You're not. You just fucking fucking See, hit like, head just like yeah, just decapitate the fucker um, as I run. Fuck yeah! And, cast, uh, and go in and cast. And then you cast healing and word and bring him up to full health. Yeah. 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 Uh, Full teamwork. Uh, Ernie, Do something, uh, both of you. I, 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 I'm fucking trying. I'm trying. So, uh, Ernie, just give we you, are just carrying give, this campaign. Yeah. Just to give you kind of lay in the land, uh, what has happened is there are three dead bodies mm-hmm. on the way to the doorway where you've seen uh, all, Melly. All destroyed by uh, the women of this. Uh, uh, Melly, uh, it yeah. has cast a spell. It looks like a healing spell inside, mm-hmm. um, but you can get within the door frame and get line of sight on the guard and Rick if you would like. I magic missile the shit out of Rick. Okay, great, great, great. All right, yeah. so. Uh, I magic right. missile. We're going to magic missile the shit out yeah. of Rick. Yeah. Great. So, okay. so. Uh, Why is everyone saving me? I'm supposed to be the strongest. I know. I magic, so, I magic missile. It's the elves are not group. stealthy. It's okay. Uh, sure. It's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, you right, so, missile Rick. Got so it. what I'm going to say is magic missile Rick. What I'm going to need from you is Rick does no, has no way to stop this. So I need you to roll a d4. Go ahead and roll that. Uh, it's going to be three times, but roll it yeah. once once at a time. So go ahead and roll the first one. What would you get? Three. That is four damage. Next. Two. Okay, we've got three damage. Roll another attack. Three. three. Another four damage. 
So, Ernie, you turn the corner and your first spell didn't go great. You know, you're kind of, you know, you've had a long time. Your second spell uh, fucking lands. Yeah. So you hit this dude for 11 force damage. You just slam it up his back. Uh, now, now you realize that, you know, you hit him a bunch and uh, this spell doesn't normally cast smoke, but there's just smoke on his back. Yeah. <laughs> but... Rick just kind of shrugs his shoulders oh, and shit. is like, he's not, you heard him, you definitely did damage, okay. but he's he's still got a lot of fight left. He's pissed. Him. He's <laughs> pissed. <laughs> this guy. Um, uh, I'm going to have this dude, because uh, he just heard a bunch of screams, and he knew there were three people outside, and now there's just two people in the doorway that are not his friends. And I'm going to have this. My rocket launcher, yeah, I'm going <laughs> to. Like, oh, shit. I would shit on your face. <laughs> I'm going to have the guard just kind of do. A save to not run away. The guard tries to leave, mm. and Rick just puts his hand on his shoulder and stops him, and points at you again. At me? Yeah, and the guy's gonna take a swing at you. <laughs> Tell me you. Uh, that's okay. He rolled a he rolled a six. Uh, the guy's he's not in it. He's like, and he just looks at you and is like, "I'm good, man." But he uh, but he but he's staying there because Rick is making him. Rick intimidated him to stay and not run, but he tried to hit you. Missed terribly. Amara, what I will say is you can easily get out of the tree and uh, get within the doorway if you would like. Maybe I should take some action. Whoa. Okay, okay, so you wanna. But I don't have like really any spells. Wait, what is the Hunter's Mark again? It's... Oh, you could cast so, that. So, Hunter's Mark, uh, it basically allows you to choose a creature that you see and that becomes your target. So you do more damage to it, you are more likely to hit it, and it basically becomes the thing you're trying to kill. And it is a bonus action, so it's not like you cast Hunter's Mark and you're done. You could, you could yeah. cast Hunter's Mark on, say, Rick, and then take a shot at Rick. And uh, do more damage and be uh, more likely to hit and not be cast. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Cool. Yay. So, uh, yeah. so Mara, uh, yeah. uh, Fucking uh, Rangers. Uh, uh, Fucking Rick. Uh, uh, Rangers, my guy. Um, my Jesus. Rick. Amara kind of hops down the tree, um, and you're going to line up a shot. Uh, go ahead and... Uh, so you cast Hunter's Mark. Okay. Fantastic. Got, um, got a mark that you... Did you have... She has two spell slots? Yeah, you... Uh, like, until you have a long rest. So he is out of big spells already. You did them both. You did them both. Geez. You still have one more. Um, I'm out of big spells, too. But, um... No, so, I'm not. I had a bonus action. No, so, it was still a spell. Still a spell. So just ah. just to keep it, just to, get to tell you what the spell is. I got one more trick up my sleeve. Uh, one. Hunter's Mark is a bonus action. You choose a creature you see within range and mystically mark it as your quarry. Until the spell lands, you get you get to deal an extra 1d6 damage to the target whenever you hit, and you have advantage of anything if you were going to track it, which you don't need to. He's right in front of you. So go ahead. And visit a hit <laughs> so uh, go ahead and give me an attack roll, and let's see if okay, you can. Okay, which one? The D twenty, um, the big one. This one. <laughs> and that is with your, <laughs> so it'll be this number plus five. Okay. Nine. So nine. nine oh. Fourteen. So fourteen. Fourteen is not going to hit. Oh. 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 I thought so too, but it's not. Uh, um, what did I need? So uh, he's not facing you, so he doesn't have his shield up. So you only needed a fifteen. Oh, he does have. Damn, uh, so close. Yeah, so it's, I'm very sorry. Super close. Shoot her, but again, you don't lose anything. Hunter's mark stays. It is on him for. So you can um, still attack him the next. Yeah, time Hunter's time. mark is concentration up to an hour. So he is your. He's, mine. he's, he's mine. yours. Uh, so you're good. He's your guy. Um, but just, turn, just sadly, that me. shot didn't land. It's your turn. You it's can my turn. It's your okay. Turn. Fuck him up. So, so Rick and his fucking henchmen are just fucking standing there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I have my fucking shield out in my fucking warhammer. I drop them. I pull out my two hand axes, and I aim one right for his fucking head, okay. his forehead, and I throw it. Okay. And at the same time, I throw one at the henchmen. Okay, good. So, all right. So, so I'm throwing at the heads of them. See if I can just. Totally so what I will say is. There is something called two weapon fighting. All right. Um, but what that's going to be is one of them you're going to add your proficiency bonus to. Right. The other one you're not. It's going to be flat. Well, so who's getting who? Who do you want to hit more? 
And who do you want to hit less? Obviously, I want to hit Big Rick more okay. than yep. the fucking little shit. Cool. Yeah. So, so give me give me an attack roll for Rick. I'll tell you if you hit Rick. So, uh, D20. D20, yeah? Yeah! Yeah! yeah 16! You're absolutely going to hit Rick. Uh, go ahead and uh, we're going to wait to roll damage. Uh, roll again now. Okay. And this you're only going to add a plus... Uh, wait, your strength is plus four, right? Ooh. Yeah. Cool. You actually have plus six to hit, so you definitely hit. Okay, and make sure you adjust those plus fives. So you're it. better. I got it. Um, but you're only going to get plus four to this one, not plus six, because okay. you're you're not proficient with two hands. No, this one okay. is for the, the little, little shit. Yeah, plus four. four. Plus four. All right. Eight. Four, eight. Sadly, yeah, the second one kind of whizzes past him, but you do get the you do get damaged on on Rick. Um, uh, go ahead and roll uh, whatever the hand axe damage is. Hand axe is a d6, which is cool. this guy. So a d6 plus the proficiency bonus, which is plus two. Uh, no, plus the it's gonna be plus four, four. if he hits. Right. Oh, not if he hits on top of this. So, so this is plus four. Yeah. Oh. One plus four. Well, so still five, five damage. So you still okay. by cleaving okay. his head, kind of knocking back a little bit. He's dazed for a second, Whoa. and oh, and he looks shit. and he looks pretty. Yeah, he's he's fuck he's, he's fucked up, but still he's getting hurt. He's getting hurt. Um, fucking finally. Did um, oh, I'm gonna have Rick purely do a wisdom yeah. throw. Okay. He's been hurt in two directions, right? Uh, and someone else cast a healing spell, so I'm just gonna see if he's smart enough to not to f- keep fighting you. Is basically it. Mm. He is. He's not gonna move away and give you a free attack and things, which is fine. He's gonna take two swings at you because mm. you're still there. Right. He does. He does still have to hit <laughs> you though. Know. Um, all right. Uh, the first roll. Sure. He's this not gonna, not gonna hit. Oh, the guy's hit. not All gonna right. hit. He's not gonna hit. That's a 15. Does not hit drummer class. And again, that is a 16 plus four. That is a 20. He's going to hit. Oh, uh, and he's going to I'm going to be Aspie. I'm going to be a fucking Aspie. Uh, that oh, is uh, we didn't eight. pay for a room at the end. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because you gave him the Bag of money. Eight points of damage. Big bag of money. Oh, no. Now you're lower than uh, he Fuck this eight points of um, uh, Fantastic. That brings us back to the top of the order. Uh, Melly, you Great. See. How close am I to Rick again? Uh, well, now you're within 10 feet of, of Rick. Great. Let me double check the range on something here real fast. Can't we all just get along? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, no. Okay, great. Fuck it. I am, <laughs> you like you said, I'm within, you said I'm within 10 feet of him. You are, yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, great. You try the diffuse situation with lying and laughter. Neither work. Neither work. Okay, cool. And a missile. <laughs> and a missile. <laughs> okay, um. So I am going to open. I'm gonna. I'm gonna open up my. I'm gonna open up my palm and go. I'm gonna blow oh. on my. On my. Well, I'm gonna have my. I'm gonna color it that it's my wand that I smoke out of. Okay. I'm gonna. Puff on my wand and blow the smoke, and I'm gonna cast at will because it's a cantrip. I can do it what I want. Cool. Poison spray at Rick. So you, have, so you have to make a con saving throw, and the saving throw is I think 14. 14. Right? Yep. Uh oh. Con. Uh. Ooh, con. <laughs> yeah, he fails hard. Uh, what what happens? You take uh uh you take one d12 poison damage. So let me get my d12 out here. Excuse me. Eight points of damage. Eight uh, points of poison damage to the guy. Yeah, Rick is definitely bloodied. He is bloody. Oh. He's hurt. He's but he's still got some fight in him. He's still here. He's still standing, but he's getting fucked up by all of you. Um, Jesus. Uh, anything else from from you? Um, I don't. I can't. <laughs> guidance isn't a bonus action. Is it? No, guidance is a full action. That's why it's really hard to use in combat. Sorry. Lame. Um, but that gets us to. Oh wait, wait. Can I bonus action? Um, any kind of like disengage or anything? You cannot. No, okay. That's like a rogue thing. I, um, I miss being a rogue. Sorry, yeah. I'm a rogue in another campaign, everyone. All right, sense. great. Um, then that's all I got. I'm just going to blow poison in this fucking face. That's fine. <laughs> you guys have... His back is not looking great. It's smoking. There's poison on it. There's a lot of happening. fucking axe in his um, forehead. Axe in his face. Someone else fuck him up. Um, yeah, I, uh, Ernie, it is your <laughs> turn. Jack <laughs> Jack Damn, we all... Hey, look, you know what? Why do you tell us a joke or something? Oh, God. I I use... No! Can we kill Rick? Focus, Ernie! Focus! We need to kill Rick. Focus! 
That was a funny joke. That'll get him. I used chill touch on her. Chill to no, <laughs> no on Rick. No, you don't on Rick. So on Rick. Chill touch on chill Rick. Touch on I Rick. use chill touch. Do I use chill touch or true strike? Uh, so just to, so you can use either one you want. But I will say true strike would help you next turn. Okay. Would give you advantage on your attack roll. Um, or chill touch now would be, just be a flat roll. But you can set it up if you want to wait. I'm gonna do chill touch on uh, Rick. On Rick, can, yeah. we, can we fucking take care? Of so, Let's so chill touch. Uh, I will read out what chill touch. Yeah, I, I got it. I, cool. like, I like reading the spells. Do it's it up fun. for sure. I love that. Okay, so uh, chill touch, chill touch. You create a ghostly skeletal hand in space of a, in the space of a creature within range. You make a ranged spell attack against the creature to assail it with the chill of the grave. On a hit, the target takes 1d8 necrotic damage, and it can't regain hit points until the start of your next turn. Until then, the hand clings to the target. If you hit an undead target, it also has disadvantage on attack rolls, but he's not undead, so it doesn't matter. It's not. Go and give me an attack roll. Okay, well. It cocked. Try it again. It cocked again, roll, yeah. Roll it again. cocked. Try it again. It's fine. Jesus Christ, it's Jason. Christ. Oh. Holy! Five. Five. Plus five is ten. That's not going to hit. Um, you kind of chill. You send out your hand, and it just uh, it honestly, <laughs> it honestly just starts scratching his back, and he's kind of like into it. He's like, oh, that's, that's pretty, pretty right there. Um, I'm gonna I die. Yeah. I'm gonna die. I've used every goddamn spell I got. Is it my turn? Is it my turn? It's not your it's turn. The guard's turn. It's the guard's turn. He's gonna Damn, take a swing at you. Uh, he misses Thank as well. Thank yeah, the guard's not doing great. Uh, it is your turn, Amar. Take him out. I'm take thinking. Okay. Should I do the dagger or the hand axe? Let's see, what has most... They're I will say, I, I think, well, you're outside, so you're actually, you're, I, if I may, I'm not going to Wait, I didn't get to the front door yet? You don't need to be. Your arrows are going through the door. You don't need to be closer to it. Okay, you, so your see. longbow is 120 feet yeah. easy. Yeah, you just... You're not, yeah. you're, you're, you're <laughs> legless. You're shooting arrows through a door. You don't need to get any closer. God, shoot a hero in his fucking yes, head. Yes, cool, yes, go ahead and give me another attack roll. Yeah, for sure. This one? Yep. Absolutely. That plus five. Yes, roll it up. 11 plus 5, 16. Tell me that's that hits. Yeah. So now, so but now. Rest, we're all doing work but, here. But that's because. Yeah. Get yeah. the job done. The hunter's mark. It, so does, yeah. it, does, yeah. it does more. It does more. So I actually need you to roll me a D8 and a D6 together. And, and then add that up. And then, yeah. So roll them both. One, uh, seven. One and seven plus your dex. No, ten. one and six, so it's seven. Seven. Plus your dexterity, which is ten more damage. This dude's fucking. He's not doing great. He's still, he's still alive. alive. He's still alive. He's on death's door. Thank he's God. Still oh, there. We got him. If you, he's if still you, there. You, 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 I like, tried to do damage on him. He's sure. still there. I diffuse the situation with my charisma. <laughs> with my charisma. I'm gonna do like um, I want to do like a Helga Pataki like fist um, onto fucking fucking um, Ernie just to be like so shut funny. up. Uh, <laughs> so Amara just shoots another arrow. Uh, she's just fucking doing work from the trees and outside. Sit in uh, the goddamn tree. Uh, You're all getting the she's all out of here. She, she's uh, on the ground. Shirk, that is your yeah, turn. Just all right. So, uh, what does adrenaline rush do again? Um, so I actually looked up because that is a special new thing. Uh, oh yeah, you're playing that's the orc. one that is. Um, um, I, I have six health. Right yeah. um, so, so well, one will forget, as a fighter, you also have an ability <laughs> called uh, and was, oh, you have an ability called Second Wind. I forgot to tell wind. about Second Wind. Um, second Wind, second wind no. allows you to heal yourself uh, without needing a healer. <laughs> Basically, you can use a bonus action to like pump yourself up and get health back. Um, so before you take your turn, if you want to do that, you absolutely can. Um, I, I'm gonna do this. You're gonna do that. Cool. I'm gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add what for? So second win. I just wanna. I forget. Uh, I'm gonna read I'm a fighter. This. I should know. This I'm gonna read this I again. Need my, I need my fucking health. Back. Um, that is a smart move. Um, yeah. So uh, second win, you actually gain one d10 plus your fighter level. So go ahead and roll a d10. Four. A four plus plus one, because you're a five. fighter. So five health. So you're almost back to full health again. You're Thank back to God, ten, ten health. health. Yeah, you're, you're back ten. to you're ten, ten health. Ten Fair health. Enough, um, and you still have your attack. You can still do anything so you like. So now I can attack. Him. Yes. With ten and health. I know you said you dropped your stuff. If you want, you can just pick it back up. Yeah. And use it. I pick it cool, back great, up. Yes. I I rush. I I rush him. I cool, great, yeah, yeah. I literally rush him. Cool. And you know what? Actually, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I try to. Oh wait, you asked me what? Let me tell you what adrenaline rush does. If it may. Yeah. Because be, be if I can do that, I might do that too. Let me see what adrenaline rush does. 
Um, so Adrenaline Rush allows you to take the dash action as a bonus action. It's not, I don't think it's worth doing right now. Um, but what is cool is whenever you do use this trait, you gain a, a number of temporary hit points equal to your proficiency bonus. Yeah. So if you you'd like, you can get two hit points. You can save this for now. No, I'm going to save that for cool. later. Great. But what I'm going to do is I'm rushing him. You know, like, go oh, shield, yeah, yeah. shield forward, winding up my Warhammer, and I'm aiming straight for that fucking axe. Just to axe, knock the axe to in. just knock it further into his cool. fucking skull. Um, yeah. And just really fucking brain dead and just fucking... Cool. I, I'm going for the kill shot. Yeah, hitting, absolutely. Hitting that uh, I am so excited. Go ahead and give me All right, all right. Okay. Sorry, I, I should have talked <laughs> like this. Roll, baby. Uh, D20. Warhammer's plus six. Oh, sorry. Yes, no, you're good. I'm oh, fat. I love it. Yes! 19! 19 plus 25, yes. Go ahead and roll me damage, please. Yeah, 19 plus D8. It's gonna be a D8. Um, I'm gonna tell you right now. You need to roll. You need to you need to roll a five or better to kill to kill Rick out. Alright. Oh god. Oh what? <laughs> Honestly, this is the most terrifying thing that's ever happened. So you, you land it. The hit, it goes right in. You, you feel the axe go deeper than it should be allowed to. Into, into his skull. skull. Yeah. Um, <laughs> He's totally uh, and uh, Rick is, he is bloody. He is freaking out. Does he uh, stop shitting his pants uh, or something? Like, what and he fuck? is actually going to, um, <laughs> oh, no. He's gonna take uh, two attacks uh, oh, as well. Um, oh, same no. thing, but he's gonna he's gonna drop his shield uh, to do more damage. So oh. he's so if he hits, he's gonna do. He's double handing. He's gonna he's gonna say this. So um, uh, <laughs> you just made him mad. Uh, okay. You just made him mad. That is going to miss. He rolled a fifteen. Okay. Next attack. It's a natural 19. He's going to <laughs> Kirk's just in this tavern get fucked up. But, but he only does five damage. He swings. Great, he I'm back to five. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't. Okay, okay. So that back basically, basically now you're locked in this fucking battle with this dude. You you pumped yourself back up with the damage. But I, when I tell you this dude has like fucking no health left. But at this point he's not backing down. He is, he's still fucking fighting. Motherfucker. Um, Melly, that is your turn. I'm going Kill to- Kill him! <laughs> that, he loses. Shirk loses all accents. Just kill him! <laughs> oh, I'm, sorry, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt him. to come up behind him. Can I get advantage on this because he's focused on him? Uh, it's funny. I, I don't want to. I don't want to put in uh, uh, pincer rules because it'll fuck you all later. So okay, no, fine. No advantage. Well, I'm but he's to... dropped his shield, so there's no bonus to his AC. Okay. Great. His AC I'm gonna, I'm gonna simtard, try uh, to simtard him straight in the back. Okay, or, cool. Great. Great. Four, you, your plus scimitar. Five, plus five. Yeah, and nine. Nine. Uh, yeah, your scimitar. You get it in his back. He's not dropping. He just back. Jeez. He's still oh there. My fucking he's still God! there. <laughs> Ernie, that's your turn. I defuse the situation. <laughs> what would you like to do? Ernie? My eighteen charisma. I get the most points in charisma. I should be able to fucking do something. <laughs> it didn't work the first time you tried it. All right. Hit him with your staff or something. I I, hit, I hit him with my staff. Okay. Okay. Go up and try to hit him. Uh, you got you get what plus three of this. I get uh, plus. Go for the yeah, head. Yeah, Fuck his three. head up again. Three, yeah. So get your d twenty and roll in a pl- that plus and then add three to it. Fifteen. That's gonna hit. Yeah. Go ahead and roll your damage. Okay, yeah. Just don't get a it's one, a and he's dead. What is it? It's a D, <laughs> D6. Yeah, it's the regular square one. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Ernie, we can kill him if you don't get a one. All right, Ernie. <laughs> You've you used all your spells. <laughs> You've tried everything. You're the reason for this. You need to kill Rick. <laughs> it's, up to you. it's up to me. I gotta kill Rick here. You started this. Three. Yeah. 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 Fuck so, Rick. Uh, why don't you? How how do you want to do this? How, what do you do to Rick? I 
go well, right up to him. I take the axe and I just bury it even deeper. <laughs> oh, holy okay. shit! Okay. Yeah, it's with my like, staff, like I just kind of like jab it in even deeper. Okay. Then I take the axe out and I cut his head off. Okay. And then I take his head and I stick it on the end of my staff. Holy shit! And yes. And I go over to the kids that tripped me from earlier. And I said, this is going to be you if you trip me again. <laughs> magic missile on the kids. <laughs> you try magic missile, you are out of spell slots, so you, you don't do you that. You can't do it. But, uh, you just can, then, can you give me an intimidation roll with advantage? Yes. So, that's so, t- so <laughs> another... Um, I got Rick's head on my step, and I paraded through the town. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so roll... Roll these two. It, it's 7.15 in the morning. 7.15 <laughs> in the morning. It's 7.15 in the morning. Just for our, for our listeners who are it's keeping score, it's 7.15. It's 7.15 in the morning. Here, roll, roll. It's my fault. We just created this more to Fantasy's Town. Oh, I don't want to pay for a room at the tavern. What is your intimidation? It's plus. This is this fancy stuff. You have the highest roll plus three. I go through three. the town with the head on my staff. The highest roll plus three. Two and nine. 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 So, uh... You scare a lot of children, probably. Yeah, honestly, the kids are fucking scared. Okay, yeah. Uh, okay, but, good. but, uh, yeah. just, so all of you, I'm assuming, do you all leave with him as he parades this uh, head around the town? Um, on your no. way... No! I... Oh. Go behind the bar, and I say, Jesus, uh, go in and give me just, uh, actually, he's already intimidated. What? 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 Lisa, what? right? Yeah. You're Lisa? Yep, yep, yep. Oh, God. You <laughs> don't know me, dog. I don't know you. What's up, man? I look her straight in the face, and I use my intimidation to say, don't you dare tell anyone in this town that we were here. Everyone knows the heads are coming. Oh, <laughs> so I want to make sure. Yeah. I want to make sure we understand. Don't tell that I, I want. I want. <laughs> just, <laughs> I just want you to know. Critical success on your intimidation. Okay, good. However, yes, Ernie is walking out of the bar. <laughs> I didn't know this. Wait. He left quickly. Yeah. yeah. With, so what you don't know is. I don't know that he's parading it. No. I'm gonna get mad at him later. No, no, yeah. you uh, you critically succeed. Lisa's like. Absolutely. This never happened. I'm so sorry. We didn't need more bandits in this town. Uh, and then... <laughs> this in the back... In the back, in, in the back... In the back, you just have... Just, just you know, fucking Ernie with this like, quarter step with head. As Amar is also fist... Yeah, just... Shoot, shoot <laughs> just fireball. Fireworks. Wake up, everyone! For the record, I am leading... <laughs> the 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 <laughs> Stone after this fight. I'm just, uh, I'm leaning against the tavern around the dead bodies, just getting stoned. Uh, uh, we find Melly leaning on the door frame. Uh, Shirk is standing over Lisa, uh, intimidating her. Ernie and Amara are, are parading around the town with Rick's head. Uh, <laughs> Um, on for no dirty dynamos staff. On no dirty dynamos. Uh, for no I'm, 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 I'm evil, yeah. so I have an excuse. I would, I would <laughs> like to wait yours? for. I would like to wait for Shark to pass me in the doorway if he okay. decides to, and then I'll be like, "By the way, they're walking around town with Rick's head." So. I stop for a second. I look at. Uh, I look at what? What is it, Melly? Melly. And yeah. I say. Can I hit that? Can I hit that? Absolutely. Yeah, I absolutely pass over my, my wand and I give him some of my, my herb. I take a hit to calm my nerves absolutely. because I'm going to go into Dynamo the next time I see him because he fucked us all. And I took <laughs> the, the brunt of it. Okay, Great, right, absolutely, absolutely. Um, yeah, so, so, do I need to roll anything for that? No, no, no? You're, you're... Okay. <laughs> so... You take a big old hit, you're okay. I take a big old hit. I'm a little bit calmer, and we walk out, or I walk out into the um, the town. Can I make a perception check to see if other townspeople know what just went down? It's 7.15 in the morning. You don't need to make a roll. Um, 
what I will say though is uh, the town knows. Yeah, the town yeah, knows. They don't know. However, if you want, you can give me a roll to see what you catch or who yeah. you catch. Yeah. Um, the is that perception. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Ooh, eighteen plus six. Amazing. Uh, so that's twenty-four. Mm. Jesus. Okay. So you're gonna see a few things. Um, I am perspective as fuck. Uh, <laughs> Perspective is fucked. The 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 <laughs> yeah. like, um, so, uh, you notice a few things. Um, you clock that there was like a, one of those kind of traveling sales people uh, who was the kind of towards the other side of town. You catch him in his home and it's just closing doors and leaving town, uh, running away. Um, you notice the baker I described opening the, the door and leaving all the pies in the windows, slamming the windows, the pies on the ground. Um, uh, you hear a locking sound. The kids are running. Uh, you <laughs> <laughs> the kids are are petrified. This is all because um, Dynamo accidentally got tripped and he fucking over fucking. Um, anyway, sorry. Uh, oh, oh. You trip of Dynamo. <laughs> uh, you do notice though there is three people who have different. They're still kind of watching you, uh, but there are three different things you see. Uh, you see. Uh, man in what looks like the kind of most ornate building uh, kind of hiding behind his door frame but there and looking at uh, you he makes direct eye contact with you uh, and then kind of just like just uh, gets a little bit hides a little bit more um, you notice uh, there is uh, in the building right to the right of that there's an older gentleman on a rocking chair who seems absolutely unfazed like is actually just kind of there and he's like mm. And this is only because you got above above a twenty. Uh, you notice something very odd. You notice that the cats in town are all kind of like. It seems like they're also running, but it doesn't seem the same as the kids. Um, what did you get with the twenty-four? Step aside, guys. I'll hit. <laughs> hey, listen. <laughs> Me and Mel. Uh, so. Do so, we have a gag that we could put? <laughs> <laughs> I still have Rick's head on my staff, right? I mean, have you taken it off? Um, I take off the head. Okay. And I uh, give it to you. I'm like just holding his head? Yep. <laughs> oh, she God. puts the head onto her head. No, no, I'm not doing that. That's gross. Um, just pumped it. Just kick it out somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> I'll probably just take it and... Down the street. Okay, she punts the head. Down the street. Down the street. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, I you... say, Oi! Fucking stop all this shite. Dynamo? What? Uh, Amorous Amara. Amara. Amara? Come with me and Melly. We have to either get the fuck out or talk to this weird fat. Alright? I say we talk to the weird guy. Me too. Talk so to shut your guy. fucking mouth, stop the spells, and sh- just, just we fucking, just well. stay well, quiet for well. once in your fucking life, alright? It's the same day, right? I can't cast any more spells. Yeah, it's still 7, 16 a.m. <laughs> 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 yeah. So uh, I, I say, I, I, I give him an order, come with me and Melly, we're going to talk to that strange uh, uh, gentleman who's just kind of staring at us on Absolutely. face, that one, right? Mm-hmm. Because it seems like he knows something, and he was on face. Mm-hmm. So, Great. so we walk cool. over. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we yeah, we walk over. So you walk guy. over to this old man. <laughs> Magic missile. No. You stop. don't have it. You don't have. You're powerless right now. <laughs> and you don't have any fucking armor, dude. Just shut the fuck up and be a bitch. You don't have any armor? <laughs> no, he's a wizard. I don't need armor. Where I'm going? <laughs> I got charisma. <laughs> I got charisma. <laughs> Yeah, we, we know how that worked. That's what got us into this mess. I think I have like an okay. adventure. Can I just tie him no. up? No, hey, just tree. shut the fuck up. Uh, I don't I'm, have any more. Should we tie him up to a tree? We both have rope in our back. Absolutely. So we take a minute. We tie. We we take um like. We take our rope. We grab a uh, dynamo. <laughs> we uh, we we grab dynamo because he's small and shit. Obviously, I can overpower him because I have um a powerful build and I can lift and carry you, anything that a large character. I'm I'm grabbing you. We're bringing you to a tree. We are tying you to the tree. And uh, do we have like some cloth or something that we could put in his mouth to shut him up? You do. Uh, what I will say is I'm gonna need a few things to happen. All right. 
I think this is what we need to do, though, right, Melly? Like, we need to do this because you know, we can't have this volatility <laughs> while we're talking to the fucking old guy. I will say, I think the tree we tie him to is the one that's on. If there's one on the old man's property, I think it'll be like... That he can at least... You, you, know, you, know, you know how, like, you tie off a dog when you go into a store? Like, that's kind of the vibe here. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. That's kind of the vibe. That's the vibe. Uh, like, we're not, we're not abandoning him, but he's... He, we, we don't want to go inside so and, what like, I will say is, do you resist this, or are you okay being, like, kind of tied up for a little bit? I tell them, look, <laughs> I, I use my charisma to defuse the situation, okay? <laughs> and I say, look, I'm here for the team. No more, no more crazy outbursts from me. No more Ernie outbursts, okay? I'm here. I'll keep my mouth shut until it's time, until, until it's missile time, okay? I take his word. Great. For once. I slap and I s- no, 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 no. And then I say, just stick behind me. And we start, uh, me and Melly are the front of the group walking He gives towards. me a piggyback ride. Fine. I give you a piggyback ride so you'll shut up. <laughs> great, great. Uh, great, so you walk up to this. I'm so you're walking up to the old man. Yep. Like I'm on Kirk's back. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Sure. No, I want to be sitting on his shoulders like I'm at a music concert. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm on your shoulders. In, I have my phone out yeah. across me. For sure. Yeah. Okay. Great. Okay. Uh, you walk up and uh, and this old man kind of just. That was some, was some fine, fine you did there, man. That was some fine fighting. That's what he says. Oh, that was a fine fight. All right, Millie. Like, what's I, what's sorry, the what's on. the priority? I I, I I got I got this, and I just I take please, a, I take a nice big puff, and I go, hey. So I noticed, yeah. I noticed something about. I noticed. Is there anything going on in this town? Like, what's what's the deal here? Well, somebody stole my my, my staff, but I don't, you know. I'm, what about the cats? Ooh. What about the cats? They're running around. They look a little skittish. And not not from what just happened, but like... They're not skittish from what happened just now. Yeah. I don't know if you, you saw, but there was a little <laughs> bit of a, a tussle <laughs> at the tavern. I, I didn't get a good look, but uh, it seemed like you were celebrating some good work. <laughs> Hmm, thank you. <laughs> I don't know anything about any cats. So. I feel like the cats are acting a little strange out of the ordinary. Well, may- maybe you should just kill them. Um, sir, mm-hmm. listen. There's already too much killing that's happened tonight. I mean, this morning. Could I ask you, is there a person in this town that owns or is the owner of these cats that we could perhaps, you could point our direction into? Oh, they're just a bunch of stray. I have animal handling. Stray cats. Animal handling. Oh, I have animal handling too. Yeah, DM time. Could she yes. get in a handle on, the, like, get like a, a sus situation about the cats? Yeah. Uh, I would say that's a nature check on the I cats. have Nate, and I don't have nature. Anyone is welcome to roll like a, like a okay. nature check. You I, have, like. I have plus two to nature. I'm proficient in the nature, so... Oh, wait. And you, you are proficient? Yeah. So isn't it actually plus... Well, well, my na- well nature is intelligence, which is plus zero. My mm. proficient bonus is plus two. So, yeah, two. Yeah. Okay. I'll try it. Yeah, anyone else wants to give a nature check on these? I, I, yeah, I, want, I to. want to do something. I'll okay. do it. Okay, you're I still get, on my. I get, you're still I on get my, that. We're gonna Alex. we're gonna solve this first. I want to do one. I get solve this first. Wait. I get down off Kurt's have, shoulders, but we're and I go into the old man's house for a little investigation. We're gonna hold off on that. Hold off that on that. Hold on. We need to do a fucking nature investigation. Jesus, I break into the old man's house. <laughs> He's hiding something. You try to kick Kirk the... Kirk lifts him out of the chair and slams him into the wall. No, Tell hey, me what I you're can, hiding, just... you old goat. Alex, you just destroy everything that you come across. <laughs> you don't know. You don't know me. So go ahead and make your nature check. All right. Can I do a nature check, Of course, too? absolutely, yes. Which one do I have to use? The D20. D20, and then plus your nature, whatever that is. Nature is plus one. Okay, okay there you go. I got a plus two. Uh, 16 for me. 15 plus 1, 16 for me, too. Amazing. Double 16. Um, yeah, you just sit there, Alex. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save all your asses one day. So I'm very excited for 
So you you both realize the cats, uh, what you couldn't discern just because you didn't get like a 25, it wasn't like the most incredible perception roll. Yeah, 24. You got close, you got close. That's why you can see them moving. Now that both of you are working together to kind of get a better look on it, it looks like they were running away, but they're running away to make it like not seem obvious, but now they're like reconvening mm. and going towards like a, a, like it looks like a tunnel. Like Ooh, under, we should under follow the them. Bridge. Follow the cats. Follow, follow the cats into the tunnel. All right, cool. Then we're okay, gonna... so just to make sure, I don't need to do anything else. Like, no, you, no, you're, you're, you're I mean, you're I don't know. Right. I feel like, can we use the old man a little bit more? What? Who's I, using me? This is what I do. I do an intuition. I do one of those, like, insight, insight on the old yes, man. Yes, yes, do it. Yeah, yeah, I can't understand what he's saying, but I can read his brain. <laughs> do that, do that. I yeah. do insight. Insight. Old Lyme magic missile, your ass. What's, what's, your, what's your insight? My insight, where are you? It's in the, the big list. Uh, the, the big with this with the dots. It'll be insight yeah. plus... Um, my inside plus is plus three. It's okay. So yeah, yeah, you get twenty plus three. You get all your secrets, you old goat. Okay. Nine. Six. No. Oh, six. That's a six plus three. Nine. Nine. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, you really can't get a bead on this guy, and it's not because of you. It's not because of your lack of inside abilities. It's this dude is. This guy's an enigma. He's just yeah. He, 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 What's up? Yeah, I break into his house. <laughs> hey, well, you already used your turn. <laughs> there sadly are not turns right now, but I am going to yeah, give you all an. Op- I'm going to give you all an opportunity to stop oh. this if you if you want to stop it. You clearly have an. Op- I initiate combat. <laughs> no. <laughs> With the old man. No. I mean, uh, are are we doing? This? No, I. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that old guy's about to fuck all of us up. I'm no. telling you. Here's here's what we'll I kill here's everyone what, in the town. Here's what I suggest. I will. Someone's in his house. I will go to the I will go to the man and I say, Hey, yeah. Yeah. can I use your bathroom? I, Shh. That's what I was gonna I say. Hey, can I use, can I go inside real quick and use your restroom? We're gonna we're gonna leave and go check out the cats in a second. But I really have to go to the man. Mm. I don't mm-hmm. know what. Oh, it's with the cats, but yeah, for sure. Mm. The house is wild. Yeah, go ahead. Is it all right? I I have to. I also have to use the restroom. Do you mind if I I go with her as well? I have to use the restroom too. Do you also have to? Use the <laughs> <laughs> we all use the restroom at the same time. Is that okay? I I do. I only have one restroom. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> um. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Here's 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 a few um, coins. Thank you for your service. Um, for letting my, us use I your bathroom. Give, I give him a big sack of fake <laughs> coins. Oh my god, this again. Stop. 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 digitation. <laughs> no. Okay, so sack Okay, of so coins. Yeah, yeah. And we walk inside. Uh, okay. Yeah. Use the uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I walk in. <laughs> And I actually have to go to the bathroom and run. <laughs> so I, I so I can actually like just take a messy, messy I wanna stink up the place. And they can explore. We we, we blow up this old man's I don't know what's happening here. Me neither. But <laughs> Okay. But yes, you can make your investigation. Oh, this check. <laughs> oh what's in the house? I don't know, do an investigation check. Yeah, let's investigate. Yeah. What's your I'm in the bathroom. Yeah. I'm in the bathroom. I'm taking investigation this. plus one. Why is plus zero? You should be really on Which one? D20, big one. Also, what do you have on investigation? Huh? What do you have on investigation? Investigation. Fight makes me want to take three. a shit. Yeah. Plus three. You should fucking roll. You should roll. Roll. roll investigation. I knew this old bitch was up to something. We'll see. Let's see. Unless you get a nat one, we won't know. 12. 12 plus 3, 15. 15. Oh. So, Do we see anything in the house? So, yeah. So, you see a few things in this house. Ooh. Um, so, you notice that it's pretty put together. It's got, you know, it's kind of got that old man smell. Uh, just like, you know, just where it's kind of just sadness just in the air. Kurt's but, taking a shit. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't interrupt me. Sorry, yeah, sorry. yeah, no, it's quickly, the old man smells quickly getting Whoa. dissipated by the smell from the bathroom. <laughs> it smells um, like <laughs> But um, you notice there there is uh, a place on the mantle where there clearly used to be a staff. 
that is oh, in a place of thing. He, he, is, he did say he was missing a staff. He is, it, he is, in fact, he's not lying. He is missing a staff. Um, oh, and, uh, yeah, that's that's what you get with a 15. You get, yeah. Wait, wait, so so he's missing a staff. There's weird things happening with the cat. We have to make a decision while we're here. We could help him or ask more. You know? I was gonna ask you, I have a, this is, so I'm gonna like knock, I'm gonna, I'm gonna gather, <laughs> I'm gonna round up the phone, I'm gonna knock on the door and be like, hey, sure, stop shitting for like two seconds. Yeah, yeah, wait, wait, let me wipe. I, I, uh, I yeah, opened the door. Like what? The what's going boy. What's going on? So, what are you seeing? Like hey, listen, listen, like, listen. listen. So listen. I say we offer to get this old man his staff back. In mm. turn, mm. he lets us stay in his house. Mm. We, we, we get we're a, still we, tired. Yeah. We get a long rest now. We get all of our stuff back, <laughs> and then we go out and find a staff for him. Okay. I, I agree. Yes. Let's do that. If he takes it. If he yes. takes it. Let's uh, make in a proposition. In his house and destroy his bathroom. We're not going to get a place at an inn anywhere in this town. And he uh, seems yeah. nice enough to let us go. Rick's house is available. <laughs> so. <laughs> Wherever Rick's what if he Rick's has a family, <laughs> you monster? Bring the Magic head back. missile, baby. Come on. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Well, if we need a long rest before you um, can destroy more families. The old man comes in. We'll find and everything okay. Yeah, I was wondering. You yeah. said your staff is missing, right? Right there? My staff is missing. Mm. What if huh? we went and found it for you? That would be... That would be great. When was the last time you saw it? From the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I saw... <laughs> Sorry, what, when was the last time you, you saw, saw it? You saw the toilet paper. <laughs> when was the last time you saw it? Well, well, um... How long ago? How old are you? <laughs> is it, is it Sorry, in the tunnels? Sorry, no, no, no. Is it in the tunnels with the cats? I don't know what the cats are, but no, this was, this was humans who took this. It was humans took you. No, a couple of months back, there was yeah. bandits, and mm -hmm. they rode through town, um, I mean, honestly, they only lucked out that that Rick wasn't around, man. No one could ever take down Rick. Mm. Rick's gonna protect this town forever. Mm. Rick, Rick, honestly, he, they just, he went to market and it looks like they knew and they came through town and took, but you know, the good news is Rick is back and he's never gonna leave town ever again. Okay, guys, um, okay. that, that is mom on the apron. Okay, um, cool, so maybe, wouldn't mind. We... I mean, you've all seen Cable. Your staff is covered in blood. Yes. Um, moving on from that. Okay. We. <laughs> Mind your business, yo, man. <laughs> I tell no, 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 no. The rope comes back out. No. <laughs> We would love to. Shut your we, we would love to. To we we need. We are very tired, travelers. We have fought many hard battles recently. Yes. We would love to take a rest here in your lovely home, and then we will, in return, we will go out and find your staff for you and return it. That that sounds like a deal. Uh, I mean, I mean, maybe I should. You know, have you already? Started? Drop in. Drop in. Have you already stopped by to see Rick? Because we should tell Rick there's an inn where you could stay at. But... Well, they seemed really busy today. Yeah. And I think that like we your home just is so cozy. We don't wanna we don't wanna bother. That means a lot. Plus you know, we won't really have that much money to pay for service. For an inn, yeah. Change yeah. of service and goods, I thought. But maybe. you gave me that do you I have the I have the no, bag no, of money that you gave me. If you, he's actually practicing close-up magic. It's a, it's a passion of his. Oh, oh my goodness! Yeah. My hand went. Wow, David Blaine. <laughs> yeah, he. His name is actually Ernie Dynamo. He's uh, up and coming. <laughs> 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 
Nolan Apprentice. Um, David Blaine is an incredible close-up. How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man? <laughs> cool. So I'm, I'm going to take a massive, what? massive hit of my pipe and say, do we have a deal? Will do we have a deal? Please. I mean, I, I, sure, I'd love to get my staff back. Um, yeah. Great. We'll be Great. upstairs. I shake his hand and I immediately. We go upstairs. There is no Wherever upstairs. we're going. Wherever we're going. <laughs> <laughs> there are, there are no no. Okay, wait. Listen. Time out. Young. Why is it in the game of yes and you can't just make a second floor? I don't we're very small town. <laughs> we're very small town. <laughs> New England, like, young. I don't know how. We're not. We're not those big fancy towns you hear about on adventures. Fine, fine. I go under a table and I sit in my trance. Oh, okay, absolutely. No, okay. I'm out. There, I do have. I do have a spare bedroom and some other beds. I'm good. You guys have some spare beds if you would like. Yes, that would be. I asked for a bed. I just need a floor. That's amazing. All right, everyone, take a long rest. So is everyone rest. taking a long rest? Get take our a spells long rest. back. Yeah, get our spells. Get cool. our oh <laughs> no! Is there a way he can't get his spells back? I'm here to. I tried to. I used all my spells to try to save you. Yeah, but you got us into this mess. <laughs> <laughs> and on that, uh, we're gonna call our first session. That's uh, right. Yay. 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 I use sleight of hand to steal the gold back from the old man. You get it. <laughs> Easily. You know, that's not even a roll. God, you know what, guys, ladies and gentlemen wow. who, are, who, are, who are listening, thank you uh, so much for going I, on this know, journey. You know, I could play this for days. I could play this forever. This was an absolute blast, and I I, feel, I, I need to keep going. Yeah, I am we, so... we need to know what happens with these characters. So. I need to know what happens with the old man. Yeah. I'll tell and you why are these cats being shady? Now that I've had a good rest, I've got some magic missiles. <laughs> this old man better Well, we'll up. learn what happens while you all rest. But yes, for now, we're going to draw this all to the close. Wow. You know, we should have just went with the rats, uh, or the cats in the tunnel. We just went in this old guy's house and took a shit. We needed, listen, that's what strategy, we, if we went after the cats, we would have gone into, an, into something where none of us uh, had spells, we no one had that. help. We needed to sleep. See? We needed to sleep this whole time. You fucked us <laughs> by giving big money, dude. Right. Anyways, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, hey, we're, um, yeah. we almost forgot about you because we were having so much fun. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning into this very special two-parter episode yeah. of yeah. Uh, Unhinged, Unhinged Chaotic. Listening to the audio of, of, of our first to... Dungeons and Dragons game. For, give it up to Andrew here. <laughs> <laughs> Great. And for Erica and her, her, and her Erica, attention to detail. Thank you. Thank you. And Lauren for coming in and saving the day. Fuck yeah, yeah. Lauren. Let's, Let's go. go. And uh, I, I, all I can and, say and is, Rick, uh, ladies and, and gentlemen, Rick, uh, yeah. I think you're going to hear in, in the future more Dungeons & Dragons. Yeah, I'm, I'm like. excited for this. So. This is uh, something that we have to see through. So, um, Ladies and gentlemen, you know, you know where to find us on Instagram. And yeah. uh, please subscribe on YouTube and yeah. all all of the audio platforms please share this with your friends but until yeah, next just, week yeah remember when you go to a little town be friendly first you know maybe yeah. talk to the maybe people see first. if uh, people could help you before you attack them exactly but ladies and gentlemen we'll see you on the next part we'll I, see I will you keep doing this Hell yeah. we love you this is great. um play safe play and safe. um uh yeah bye 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 <laughs>